so let's talk about phase one. Do you want to join Phase Clan? We're back again looking for the absolute best of the best to join us here on the team. The phase one open recruitment challenge starts right now. For those of you that haven't been following this little journey of mine, I'll give you the Spark Notes summary. Uh, basically, FaZe Clan is a massive gaming and entertainment organization. They launched a recruitment challenge a few months back to try and find a new member. Out of thousands of submissions, they chose 100 content creators from all walks of life to compete in challenges where they would then judge those challenges and judge those creators, select a top 20. They would then fly those 20 creators out to LA to compete in a reality show where they would eventually whittle it down to one new recruit to join Face Clan. I made the top 100. I did not make the top 20, but I just want to talk about the experience as a whole and why this contest changed my life, even though I didn't make the top 20. I'll just start from the beginning. Um, when I found out that I made the top 100, I was super excited, but only for like a day because I knew that there were challenges coming up and I was ready to put my head down, grind, focus everything I have into these challenges because I know that this is the opportunity of a lifetime. So I was just like hyper focused. I wasn't trying to like appreciate the moment fully it necessarily, you know what I mean? And along those same lines of not necessarily appreciating how cool this all was, um, this contest was long. It was like three months in between when I submitted my first video overall for the contest and when I found out about the top 20. Like it was like three months in between. So, you know, the novelty of being selected into the top 100 kind of wore off. You kind of get used to being in the top 100, if that makes sense. But now that it's over, I can honestly look at it with a different perspective and realize this was insane. To be recognized by FaZe Clan and selected into their top 100 out of thousands of submissions, thousands of creators, is incredible and it changed my life. As a content creator, I deal with a lot of self-doubt and I guess you could even call it imposter syndrome. Uh, I think that just comes from, you know, I've built my brand alone in my room for the past two years. So a lot of the time it, kind of like doesn't feel real. Like I'll look at my follower count or my view count and no matter how much growth there is or how crazy the numbers get, there's always this voice in the back of my head that's like, this isn't real, this is only temporary, this will go away, you know, you look stupid, all that fun stuff. But the day I found out that I made the top 100, changed all that. It was FaZe Clan, one of the biggest content organizations in the entire world and one that I've personally followed and looked up to for years telling me that, hey, we see you and you're legitimate and we like what you're doing. And any self-doubt that I had has quieted down quite a bit if it even still exists at all. So that was huge for me. It was just super validating. And that's without even mentioning all of the amazing creators that I've met throughout this whole contest. I don't know if I can accurately express how cool it is to have met so many dope content creators through phase one because I think part of the reason I dealt with so much self-doubt and maybe felt silly making content is because I had no one around me trying to do the same things with the same goals. And don't get me wrong, I have an amazing friend group that has been nothing but supportive of me the whole way. But at the end of the day, when you don't have people that can necessarily relate to your goals or your struggles, uh, it's not ideal and you can feel alone, you feel weird. That's just the reality of it, at least for me. But now I have a group of driven, creative people that I can talk to about this stuff and who I look up to. They're just some of the most positive, genuine, supportive people I've ever met in my life. And they've also become some of my favorite streamers and content creators. And I would never have met them if not for this contest. Just want to shout out a few of them by name. Uh, we've got eBagel, Smirk, Kitchen Kills, Rash the Smash, Muscle Hawk, Ashley Guggs, you guys are cool as hell and you motivate me to get better every day, so thank you. But honestly, um, overall what this contest did for me is it made my dream of becoming a full-time content creator feel more like a reality. Like now it feels more like a when, not an if. And it's given me the confidence and validation to keep going even harder than I already was. Like. I don't feel silly setting up my camera or my mic to film my skits anymore. I don't feel silly making sure to cross post my content on every platform imaginable and in some cases even trimming a few seconds off of my TikToks to make sure they work on YouTube Shorts. Oh yeah, by the way, phase one is the entire reason I'm uploading YouTube Shorts consistently and I've gained almost 30,000 subscribers because of it, so yeah. <laughs> I don't feel silly promoting my Twitch channel, telling people when I'm gonna go live next. I don't feel silly doing anything associated with the grind of being a content creator anymore. I just feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. 
and I thank Phase 1 for that. So while we may not have made Phase Top 20, this contest has absolutely changed me for the better, and oh by the way, Phase does some form of recruitment challenge every year, so uh, we'll be back. Until then, keep following along, join the bench mob because it's only up from here, and uh, while joining Phase Clan would have been super exciting, it is on hold for now, but there's even more exciting things on the way, so keep it locked. I'll see you guys soon.